All right, so when we're talking about the soft tissues of the hip, the easiest way to show you this, uh, so we'll have you in prone to start. Yeah, whichever way, it doesn't matter, that's fine. Okay, so the as, as angle goes, so come, bring the camera closer so you can be here, right? So you can see this on the camera. Okay, so basically if you think about the trochanter and you think about a horseshoe around the trochanter, so for the sake of you guys, I'll just do it, do that. Like you've experienced this, the horseshoe is there. So you're kind of a horseshoe on the top of it. So if I think about the anterior fibers of glute men and glute med as well as TFL, I've got this angle perpendicular to fiber direction, right? So here. So what it's going to look like for that in prone is this, right? So I just work, I'd work there. Now I can work it short lever like this. So still bone moving muscle, right? If I wanted to, I can use the leg as well. So I'd have to switch hands in this case, but we've got that. Then if I'm thinking about the rotators, regardless of which one you're talking about, you're not going to find piriformis alone. Piriformis is basically like a little pinky finger along with all the obturators and the gemellis. But we've got an angle relatively from pelvis to trochanter. So if I know where the trochanter is, I can come above it perpendicular to fiber direction. I can come below it perpendicular to fiber direction. And generally because of superficial deep anatomy, I'm also working the glute max because glute max fiber direction is from midline to thigh. So it's got a similar angle. So all of this is relatively well considered. If I'm going to use the leg as a lever, I can still use the heel of my hand there, right? This is harder because now it's a little bit harder on my arm. It still works, but it's, you can see it's a little bit more straining, a little bit more awkward. Whereas if I use the, the fist, so superior angle, right? This way, there, right? So I can be closer to it. So I can use my fist, but again, it's broad as opposed to pointed. Your classic piriformis work is going to be the point of the thumb. That's not nice, right? So I can still get all of that. Uh, we're going to have you lay on your side. Okay, so facing them. Don't face me, please. <laughs> don't look at me. Don't look at me. No, no, face the other way. Don't look at me. <laughs> I said, don't face me. I said on your side and don't face me. So now you'll see the angles are the same, right? So here, TFL, anterior fibers of glute min and glute med. Short lever, I'm going to stabilize so I have a still bone moving muscle. Push and pull, right? You don't believe me that I'm working the muscles. He's wiggling. All it takes is that, right? So I've got that push and pull. Generally speaking, in lateral, when working on the soft tissues of the hip, you have the challenge of the person's knee being below their hip. You can pillow between the knees. That's totally fine because then that will level it out. You won't have the automatic stretch in here. But if I want to work this, so again, this angle, if I want to work above it on the rotators, I'm going to go here, straight line, right? Now, obviously the thigh is going to move. All it's going to take is that. So I stabilize the bone. I just put my hand on the trochanter, right? So uh, step back so you can see the knee. Thank you. So unstabilized, right? It still moves, but less, right? So there you go, that angle. Now, if I want to work beneath those fibers, turn here, again, see the knee moving. This hand's off. All I do is this. I can control it better, right? Still bone moving muscle. Now, if I want to, in lateral, use the leg to help me, it's going to be best for the anterior fibers of glute min and glute med and TFL, All right? So size of the table on and height of the table, I'm going to have my knee on here just for myself. Ideally, you'll have a table that fits you a little bit better, but this is the case here. So I've got this, this hand, again, perpendicular to relative fiber direction, right? So I've got my push and pull you don't believe me because I'm wiggling him. Whereas if I just get on it, right? Now he's going to move, but I can stop. So I've got that, I've got that meat, I've got that muscle. There you go, right? If I want to move slightly further forward to get more into TFL and possibly the tendons of some of the quads, mostly rec fem, I believe, maybe sartorius, but whatever. Here. Now, you don't believe me now. I'm moving too far. Right? So basically, the tissue should not jump, but I can feel a little bit of tension in my hand and come on and off it. Or I can just hold it, but I can't do it like that. So you see his whole pelvis and his back move? I've gone too far. Sorry, didn't mean to make you jump, but that'll work. Right? Now, if I wanted to work, again, this relative angle, 
because I'm holding the knee, I, I'm committed to certain positions. So I can push my hand this way, but my elbow ends up high. So it's harder on me, but I can work through glute max and above the rotator. So I'm again, perpendicular to relative fiber direction. I can do it, but on him, just because of his height and my height, this works a little bit better. But if somebody was taller for me, because their knee would be farther away, it's just way harder on me. And then now the problem is when I want to get below here, I'm in an awkward position. Now, if we put you in supine, please, and thank you. So you're not gonna see this as well, but again, it's gonna be this way. So he's just changed position. Relatively speaking, anterior fibers of glute and glute med are gonna be this way. And I'm, because he's on the table, all of that rotator tissue is gonna be way harder for me to get, but I can kind of create the horseshoe and push and pull down here. It's gonna be really hard for you to see. It's not gonna show up on the camera, but you can see because this is a straight leg, it's gonna do nothing. Right? Whereas if I shorten that in a relative sense, right? Now that camera will see this, the up and down. And you guys, I think you guys understand this, right? And then I've got, so now it's still muscle moving bone, right? Make sense? Now that's not it. That's too far, right? Whereas I put some tension into the muscle that's off and on and off and on, and none of it's gonna jump, he won't jump. Now, I can kind of come around here and work, but this is just not gonna do anything. So the posterior tissues, your superior angle for, or the angle above the rotators and through the glute max going this way, I'm not gonna get, and I'm really not gonna get it uh, in supine when I come from below. It's just not gonna work all that well. But the anterior fibers of glute men and glute med and the TFL-ish, or the hip flexor type stuff that's available there, I can get in supine. I can also do stuff like this, right? But it's just not quite the same. It's better when the knee's bent. It just happens to work a little bit better. But that's basically getting around the hip. Obviously seated doesn't make much sense because it's all obscure anyways. They're either sitting on it or it's too squished. And depending on who it is, their abdomen may be in the way. All right, so it's not gonna work all that well. So lateral and, and prone, for the soft tissues in and around the hip are fantastic, but they have some challenges. Prone is the best by far, we all agree. The simple rationale there is uh, patient positioning concept, the final one. The anatomy is exposed, free to move in the planar planes required and visible. It's preferably visible, but in the case of prone, it's definitely visible. So you can understand why lateral because lateral is the same. It's exposed, free to move in the planar planes required and preferably be visible. Lateral and prone are much better for the soft tissues of the hip. But as far as say the articulation or the relationship on a bony level between the pelvis and the femur, most of the positions will do okay. You can do some stuff except seated, seated, you're stuck in hip flexion, right? So you can see why that makes a difference. So as far as the hip is concerned, soft tissues, prone and lateral are your obvious winners. Fair enough? Sweet, thank you.